Late blooming to the end of time, cause I've been really making moves. Only kick it with a few. Money calling coming through. making a D-Wade build today in NBA 2K20. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, this build is going to suffer an area that D-Wade has excelled on in most of his career. Because you got to keep in mind, D-Wade is one of, if not the best, shooting guard of all time. Obviously behind Michael Jordan and people of that nature. But this build is definitely solid and to stay true to what D-Wade did himself throughout his career. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now for the CBPC, the skill breakdown pie chart, what you're going to do is that you're going to go down to playmaking, half playmaking, half defense, and rebounding. Which is going to be all the way towards the bottom, and second from the bottom top is going to be half playmaking, half defensive rebounding. Now for the PPPC, the physical profile pie chart, what you're going to do is that you're going to go majority agility pie chart, because I keep in mind... D-Wade was very athletic throughout his whole entire career, and we're going to translate that into this build. Perfect. Let's give you a few minutes of the achievements for D-Wade, and I'll be right back with y'all and tell you why I did the way I did it, and kind of let you know about what you should do as well. Perfect. Now we are done with the attributes for D-Wade. I'm going to show you why I did right here. We got 81 close shot, 82 driving way up, and 87 drive and dunk. Shooting stats are solid, 72, 673. 83 free throw and a decent fade just so I'm uh, not decent at all. It's, it's a plus five just so we can get the extra badge needed to get the extra badge of six shooting badges Passing accuracy is solid 88 passing accuracy 85 ball handling interior defense is okay It's, it's great for you know a shooting guard build um perimeter defense solid block and steal insane Defensive rebound is insane. Um with that uh, combined with that vertical You'll be getting a lot of boards, um, and it's obviously staying true to athleticism that D. Wade had when he played. Now, um, without further ado, uh, I'm going to show you what I do with the height, weight, and wingspan, just so you know what I did, and kind of so you are aware about, uh, about, how, just keep on, the, the build is going to change a lot, that's all I'm saying. The build is going to change a lot, and it's going to be due to height, weight, and wingspan, so don't, don't go anywhere, stay, stay, stay and see what I do, so you can see, uh, what I did. Alright, cool. So, FYI for the body shape. Body shape does affect players this year. But, for example, if you're a center and you have Hall of Fame brick wall or brick wall in general, and your body vicinity or body size is bigger, you are more than likely to attract someone onto your screen. So, just keep that in mind. Body shape does take to effect. But, since this is D Wade, this is a D Wade build video, we are going to be going with the solid build. Actually, you know what? No, we're doing that. We're going to go with the built because it's more ripped, more jacked. And D Wade. He was sexy as fuck, all right? D-Wade, he was sexy. Like, he was he was real fucking sexy when he played. He still is sexy. But at that point, uh, we're, we're, we're going belt. We're going belt's body shape, and we're moving on. Now, obviously, for the height, I know that D-Wade was six foot four when he played. But since we are trying to go for the attributes and make sure that the build plays the way that D-Wade played, we are bringing it down three inches from six foot five. He's six foot two, and I'm going to tell you why. The driving layup is plus 2 to 85, minus 2 to drive and dunk, plus 2 to the mid-range shot, so his mid-range jumper is going to be stronger. His dribble does go up as well to a 90 and a 90 pass in accuracy. Defense for the steal and low quickness does go up as well, but the main reason why you are doing this is because driving layup goes up, mid-range goes up, pass in accuracy and ball handling goes up as well, and the acceleration and the vertical all at the same time. Now, let's move on to the next portion. Awesome. Now, for the weight, you're going to go all the way down to the minimum weight that you can to make sure you do get that plus four lateral quickness and that increase in vertical. Minus three and in interior defense from a 50 is not going to be that big of a deal. If you have help defense, you have right rotations on your team on the threes court or on 5v5, you're solid. 86 vertical plus four lateral quickness along with having the badges that we are going to have in order to get that push and bump animations it's going to be solid okay you're solid across the board um obviously i know that d wade was a terrific blocker in case you don't know he is the number one guard six four and under he's waiting in blocks 
for guards, 6, 4, and under. But for some reason, we I, I have no way to get the block up. Um, on a 6-4 or 6-2 build, I should say, without destroying the rest of the stats. So, that's why I have to go with the higher steel. In regards of the wingspan, we are going to be going all the way down again to 74 inches. This is because we get the boost in the mid-range and a plus 2 boost in the 3. So, you will be able to hit the 3 ball if you know your jumper, especially since... We are able to create our jumper, specifically this here. You're going to have a jumper that has a large green window. And you will be able to hit threes down if your three window is big enough. Uh, which it will be, obviously. Um, and, yep. Uh, that's going to do here. But we have plus four ball handling as well. Which is going to be great for getting those open opportunities. Once we get to the takeovers, you can see we have playmaking, slashing, lockdown, and shot creator takeover. Um, D-Wade being who he was. Um, being extremely athletic. And that's what he's over. d way is over being extremely athletic and a very, very elite defender. That being said, d way is known a lot more for his athleticism than he is for his defense. I am judging that based off how how much I knew about D-Wade before I came in here. So, for D-Wade, we are going to have the slasher take over on this build. And once you finish, the archetype that you will be left with is going to be a two-way slashing playmaker. Basically, a triple archetype that you do have similar is AI, Victor Oladipo, and Donovan Mitchell. Reason that D-Wade is not on here is because it's impossible to get D-Wade similarity right now in 2K20 demo. Um, and honestly, I don't want there to be a similarity for D-Wade because D-Wade was his own, own build. He was his own beast. Same reason why MJ doesn't have one. Same reason why so many other greats don't have Same reason why Kareem doesn't have one. Multiple examples of that, of like NBA greats that this were a whole entire different breed. Those were similarity. Same reason why you don't see a similarity here of D Wade. Now we are into the badges. As you can see, we got nine upgrades for finishing, six for shooting, 18 for playmaking, and 20 for defense and rebounding. The D Wade build is one of the most balanced builds I have came across um, so far. There's one build I have seen that has 16. 16, 14, and 13, which is a very, 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 very balanced, like very straight down the middle um, for the badges. But without further ado, let's go into the finishing badges and see what we're going to put in here. Fantastic. All right. So for the finishing badges, we are going to have all badges that do um, affect our slashing ability. So as you can see, we are going to have gold contact finisher, gold giant slayer, silver fancy footwork, and bronze slithery finisher. This is because they all affect driving lifts and driving dunks. D-Way being who he is, he is fantastic at driving into the paint and making something out of nothing. Fancy footwork is going to help you get by one-on-one -on -one situations with a defender. Bronze has excellent animations with Slurry Finisher. Just having the bronze by itself gives you a whole entire arsenal of animations that you can get, especially when you are in, when you have like microwave or you are on a hot streak. Giant Slayer is an absolute necessary badge if you're ever going to go up on a bigger build that is not a rim. Uh, pure glasses and pure stretches or any other big build that's not a rim will not affect you with the Giant Slayer badge, especially if it's gold or hall of fame. Contact finisher, self-explanatory, it's basically posterizer and a drive-in layup uh, boosting badge all into one. Necessary if you are especially gonna have the D-Wade build out there. In regards to the shooting badges, we are gonna have gold difficult shots, bronze quick draw, and silver range extender. This is because with the moving mid-range, moving mid-range is the only usable attribute in D-Wade's build, obviously standing as well, which is why we have gold difficult shots, that shot creator boost. Quick draw for a slightly faster release and silver range extender so you will be able to hit, hit those deep fades from the two and deep fades or deep shots from the three if necessary. Keep in mind, your three is a 69. That is not terrible. You can positively be able to hit the three consistently if you're wide open. So just keep that in mind when you are using this build. Hey, now for the playmaking badges for D-Wade. We have gold ankle breaker, gold quick first step, Gold Space Creator, Impuckable, Tight Handles, and Stop and Go. All these badges are self-explanatory. Reason why I didn't get one of my favorite badges, Needle Weather for D-Wade, is because you already have 90 ball control. So you have 94 ball control and 90 passing accuracy. 
That being said, Needle Threader, you are not going to need that to get a lot of passes through to defenders. And you got to keep on, you have a D-Wade's build is very strong offensively, so you should not be passing that often if you are D-Wade and you have his build. So I guess to keep in mind, you, you will be a little bit ball hoggish with D-Wade with this build specifically because it attributes, not because the way D-Wade played, but because that's the way the attributes are set up on this build. So it's set up for the most success going forward. Handles for days, you have Gatorade, you don't need that shit, all right? I'm sorry, if you want to say VC, fuck it, all right? Take fucking, take stop and go or ankle breaker off, bring it over here and do that shit, right? But if you got Gatorade, you'll be fine. I, I've tested out myself, if you have Gatorade, you will be okay. But if you want to be safe, then I tell you, just put, get silver stop and go, silver ankle breaker, and it gets silver handles for days, so you can just play safe. If you want to do that, it's all up to you with those three different options I did uh, hand out to you. And now for the fun badges for the wade um, as you can see, we did get Gold Interceptor, Gold Intimidator, Gold Lightning Reflexes, Gold Pickpocket, Hall of Fame Pick Dodger, and Hall of Fame Tireless Defender. This speaks true to the inside of D-Wade's athleticism and what he's been known for throughout his whole entire career. As you can see, we did not get Defensive uh, Reader or either we did not get, um, like for example, we didn't get Chase Down Artist, etc. Um, if D-Wade's blocking was higher, I would get Chase Down Artist. But I feel like it was a lot better to get gold pickpocket. It was 86 steel instead of going all the way up the chase on artist and try to get down in gold with only a 56 block. Lightning reflexes and interceptor help a lot with stealing those passing lanes. Pick dodger, no, you're not gonna be hit hard on screens whatsoever. Pickpocket, it's so explanatory. Tyrus defender, you're a D Wade, you're athletic. You should not be getting tired while you're playing defense. Hey, sexy people, that's conclude our video for today. I hope you enjoyed this D Way build video for today. Um, I, as always, uh, if you're new to the channel, drop a like, subscribe down below if you are new, join the B fam. Um, as always, all love, all positive vibes here. Um, and yeah, as always, good day, adios. And good night. Peace. Love all of you. I'll see all of you later. Y'all be good.